Hi guys, this is a tutorial on how to use the uh, 3D design tool on the Sheds for You website. Um, so I'll try and keep it short because it does take a little while, and uh, using this screen recorder does slow the tool down a bit as well. Anyway, uh, firstly we click the Get Started button. Um, then you choose a style, so whether it be a mono pitch, which is what it is at the moment, or a gable style. So it's changed to a gable as you can see. Now there's an overhang, you can have front and back overhangs. You can add a back overhang if you like. Um, keep it at 600. But I prefer to go without overhangs anyway, so I'll just Take those off and then we go back to the main menu and go to dimensions. So normally we decide how many bays uh, you require, so you can go anything up to 35 bays in the tool. But, um, ah sorry that's 35 meters depth actually. In the bays we can go up to 20 meters, uh, 20 bays. Um, and then we can go up to well, 15 meter base, so you can design quite a large shed here if you want to. Um, but we won't be going that big. We'll go back to, say, 6 meter base. Um, say 5 bays, that'll give us 30 meters. And the depth of, say, 12, just a nice common size. And obviously. Once that's loaded, you can also select a height, 6 meters is a good wall height for a, a general workshop with machines in it, it enables you to put uh, large doors in, and you can increase the roof pitch if you like, um, I often go around 8 degrees because it, in New Zealand that allows us to have um, uh, corrugated iron on the roof if you prefer that and cladding as opposed to the five rib that we offer as well. Okay now we have the dimensions sorted um, we can go to walls so you can remove end walls or add them in you can uh, move them backwards and forwards you can take off um, a front wall if you prefer. So we just go back all there. If you want an open front sheet, so we'll go back to the main menu and you'll see that it's taken off that front wall. Um, but in this case, we'll keep it as a fully enclosed sheet. Back to the main menu, we'll install that. We'll, next, we'll go to the doors. You can add what we call a wing, if you like. Um, so we'll make it a bit higher because it's quite a high shed. So we'll make that 4.8. Um, take it out to 6 meters. And it's got a 5 degree roof pitch. So we go back to the main menu. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, sometimes it doesn't uh, go back to an ISO view, so you have to do it manually. Now, um, <laughs> we've got a little bit of a bug in the uh, system, and it doesn't put this little bit of wall in, but we'll just have to pretend it's there for this exercise. I'll go back and take that wing off. Okay, we'll start adding some doors. So you select what bay you want to put the doors in. We'll go for uh, two roller doors, one in the second bay and one in the fourth bay. So select roller door. Once that loads, you can select the dimensions. So I'll just go as big as we can, which is 4.8 by 4.8. And then normally I just put it in the center of the bay. So then again, we Add another roller, so we click change, 
And we're gonna add another roller on there. Same size. And put it in the center of the bay. Now we might as well add a personal access door. Change again. We'll put that in the middle for the exercise of this purpose of this exercise. So we add, we'll go for a color steel personal access door. Um, and put it in the center of the bay. Uh, it can open outwards. You can change whether it opens outwards or inwards and what side it is hinged on. Okay, go back to the main menu and let's select some colors. You can also select uh, your profile of your roofing and cladding. So we'll go for a corrugated roof and also corrugated walls. That'll come through in the summary at the end. Oh, one thing I saw there too, you can add skylights if you want. So back to cladding options. Skylights there, you can do one on every bay or you can do custom. And you just choose what bay you want skylights in. We'll put in those two, they've got the roller doors in. And then we have to go apply. There's your skylight showing. Okay, colour scheme. You can select just a single colour sheet, and that's obviously gone to um, some sort of white. You can change it to a grey maybe. I often do that to get the roof and cladding all the same, then I go off that and change the doors if you want contrasting doors. So with a light grey for the cladding, we'll go for a dark grey for the doors, which I think always looks nice. If I can find it. Um, grey for us, there you go. That's the PA door, roller doors, it's great for us. Um, right, and then you can go to view options, you can take, turn the dimensions off, you can take the roof off and have a look inside. Um, you can take the cladding off and roofing. And then you can add a detailed view which gives you a little bit of ground for it to sit on. Which always looks tidy. Yeah, and then you just click the submit or finish quote. It will load. This can sometimes take a while, um, as you can see. doesn't load, send us an email on sales at sheetsforyou.co.nz. Maybe click off this and take a screen grab and uh, send that to sales at sheetsforyou.co.nz. Um, we can price off a screen grab anyway. Got any questions, we can come back to you. Um,